Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 15, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. I will start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we did fall all the way towards the 50 moving average today. We got down to 1407 and then rallied. Now we're just in between the 20 and the 40 exponential moving average, but it doesn't look very good for the Great British Pound and US dollar. As you can see, MACD is still very bearish. The RSI is bearish, CSI, CSI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. And it doesn't look like this is going to turn around anytime soon. But we did find support down here at the 1407. So the 50 moving average, we didn't really get close to that, but you should expect that to be quite a lot of support around, the, around that area. So we did pierce the bottom of the bullish band and then bounced. And uh, yes, if we manage to break above the 20 exponential, then we could go back towards the 1424. If we break below the 50 moving average, then we're looking at 100 moving average at 1390. Six. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. This has really rallied to the upside. We're heading towards uh, um, 110, 320, 29, and um, the previous highs here, which got tested several times. We tested it right here, here, and also around this area here was also um, fairly difficult to get past this um, resistant area. If we get past this, then we are most likely going to go significantly higher. We're going to go all the way to up towards 111. And, uh, yes, to the downside, if we uh, break down from here, we have found massive support at the 40 exponential. We tested it several times here. And if we were to fall further from that, the 100 moving average should probably be as far as this market should go. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around, becoming very uh, bullish at this point. We are looking at the MACD that is crossing the signal line. We are seeing the RSI is bullish, the CCI is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, and we're heading towards the top of the bullish band here. So we may see a pullback when we get here, but a breakthrough that could open the door to 111. So let's look at the euro and US dollar. We have rallied a bit, but found resistance at the 50 moving average. So we did test the previous lows of uh, Friday and also on Thursday. And uh, we basically rallied from there. If you look at technical in indicators, we can see the MACD is very bearish. The RSI is flat. CCI is bearish. The stochastic is bearish. And we basically hit the bottom of the Bollinger Band in here and rallied. We may see this rally up towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is around 12 and 17. If we break above this, then we have the top of the range, which is at 12.25. To the very bottom, 150 moving average should basically be uh, where we found massive support. So also US dollar, we can see that we have tried to rally, but we have broken down when we got close to the 100 moving average. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the RSI is flat, CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is bearish as well. So momentum is definitely the, to the downside at this current stage. We're trading underneath 150 moving average, break below these previous um, candlesticks here, that could open the door to the 200 moving average at 170, 76, 0 0.76, sorry. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. We have rallied, uh, well, tried to rally up towards the 40 exponential and then gave most of those gains back. Technical indicators are fairly bullish at this point. We can see the MACD is bullish. The RSI is uh, flat, the CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is bullish as well. So we are pro we have been outside of the bullish band at the top for several days now, and um, we could see this basically pull back as we're getting very close to the 50 moving average. We, get, we have tested this several times in the past. We have never managed to break past it for several months. And we also have the upper resistance line. So if we were to break above the 50 moving average, we'll definitely find massive resistance here. To the downside, we have the lower trend line, and that should offer significant support. But this is probably um, a thing that, to watch for. Pullbacks from here towards the middle of the bullish band is kind of what is expected here. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.